Booth with headphones on. <laughs> Third down and 24. Saxton, straight drop. Has time. Throws it down the middle. Passes. Caught out near midfield. Just enough for a first down diving grab by Mario Rabina. Saxton gets the snap and drops back. Taking a shot down the right side. It's caught by Mario Robina on a foot race. And he is tripped up on an ankle tackle at about the five yard line. Saxton will realign his tailback Donald Day flank to the left. Saxton, what's the throw? He'll fire it deep. Pass caught by Robina in traffic. Barber with the coverage, but Robina able to hang on even with the arm of Barber reaching in. back as a sidecar left that's going to be Brett Carney pass left oh and a one-handed grab by Rabina at the 25 sheds a tackle attempt from Turner and then is swarmed under as he gets to the 28 yard line but that a phenomenal effort there by Mario Rabina that pass was behind him and he gloved that with one hand the left hand and even with the play only about a four or five yard gain so another third down situation where the Bearcats can get Case Western off the field and force a punt. 0 for 3 on third down conversions in the second half. Case Western trying to change that stat. Bearcats win another big stop. Showing blitz, they'll only bring a three-man rush. Saxon going to throw, pass is caught by Rabina. A Bearcat tried to jump the route but missed the ball, and Rabina continues up the field into St. Vincent territory and tackled at the Bearcats 30-yard line. Spartans are able to get it in the end zone, then have, they'll have a chance to take the lead. Saxon on first and ten. Wiggles out of the pocket, but can't get away from Paul Gonzalez. As he throws it left side. And they rule these tonight so far is Colt Morgan. One catch for six yards. He's been targeted a couple times. They want to throw deep down the right side, and a great catch. Check out Robina coming back for the ball. Saxon Rubina connection. So Mario is really, really strong in the slot. Great set of hands, and another guy. He's going to play above his size. You see him elevate there and able to pull down the big catch. For all Americans, we'll see another ceremony at the uh, halftime mark. That's a terrific pass to Mario Rabina, an even better catch on the first play of the second quarter. We say it every week, Rabina's calling card is going to be his hands, and you see the athleticism, the hands there, and he's really got a nice ability to kind of be that security blanket for Saxon when things do kind of break down and more off-schedule throws like that. Here as Brett Carney comes in at running back. Pressure coming. Saxon gets rid of it. This is Rabina over the middle into enemy territory for a first down and survives the crack.
package, if you will, at times this year. This will be Saxton rolling out. Wide open on the play is Robina. He takes it into the end zone for the touchdown. Mario Robina from 29 yards out in case Western Reserve has really cemented this one. It is now 34-7. to And the Spartans are making this one a blowout. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'm, you know, it's a little disappointing to see the WNJ defense out there. Just don't have the energy they had to start the game. And Case is obviously still trying to really put it on them. And it's you see it on the scoreboard. It's, you know, penning the extra point, 34-7, 35-7. This is really, really impressive second half by the Spartans. So Potnik, the near side, and it's pulled in. And the Spartans will get possession back. Good job there to grab it. Yeah, it was a good kick. It was well executed, yeah. just... A little off for WNJ. Well, and if, if there's a guy you want to be able to grab that one, it's Mario Rabina. Andrew, you mentioned it earlier, the best hands on the team, and he was Johnny on the spot there. Yeah, not necessarily a you know a huge guy or you know blazing speed or anything, but he's just a really, really good receiver. He